Today, we're diving into some exciting news from Samsung about their upcoming processors, particularly the Exynos 1580. If you've been keeping up with Samsung's chip technology, you know that they've been making some significant strides in the mid-range segment. Let's get into it. Samsung's mid-range chips used to lag behind when it came to performance, but that's all changing. A few years back, they began to improve, and with the upcoming Exynos 1580, we're looking at a processor that could rival Qualcomm's Snapdragon 888, which was one of the top chips back in 2021. How cool is that? Recently, a new chip popped up in the Geekbench database, and it's very likely called the Exynos 1580. Rumor has it that this chip will be featured in the Galaxy A56 next year. Now let's break down what makes this processor special. The Exynos 1580 boasts an impressive 8-core CPU configuration. It includes one main core running at 2.91 GHz, three high-performance cores clocked at 2.6 GHz, and four efficiency cores at 1.95 GHz. That's a powerful setup. In testing, the Exynos 1580 was paired with 8GB of RAM and Android 15, featuring one UI 7.0. And the results? Pretty remarkable. It scored 1,146 points in single-core tests and an impressive 3,678 points in multi-core tests on Geekbench 5. This is almost on par with the Exynos 2100 and Snapdragon 888, demonstrating how far Samsung has come with their mid-range offerings. Now let's talk about graphics. The Exynos 1580 comes equipped with the Sclips 540 GPU. That's a significant upgrade from the previous Sclips 530 found in the Exynos 1480. It's likely based on AMD's RDNA 3 technology, which we first saw in the Galaxy S24's Exynos 2400 chip. More power, more graphics performance. It's a winning combination. The Galaxy of 56 has already shown its potential with some preliminary benchmark scores. It achieved a solid 1,353 in single core and a hopping 3,847 in multi core tests. That's a really positive sign for Samsung fans looking for a capable mid range device. Now, this new chip, which goes by the model number as 5E8855, is codenamed Santa. This aligns with Samsung's typical numbering system, suggesting that it will be officially named the Exynos 1580 when it launches alongside the Galaxy of 56 next year. The previous model, the Galaxy of 55, hasn't been out for long, just three months, so details on the Exynos 1580 are still coming in. While the Exynos 1480 has received a lot of praise for introducing the AMD GPU into the mid-range, we're curious about what Samsung will do next. Big steps forward in one year are impressive, but we might not see as many upgrades for mid-range options back-to-back. -back. One area that we hope Samsung focuses on is the Neural Processing Unit, or NPU, of the Exynos 1580. Enhancing the NPU could bring Galaxy AI features to mid-range devices, allowing more users to experience these advanced technologies. However, Samsung may opt to keep these features exclusive to flagship models, at least for a while longer. But hey, who knows? They might just surprise us like Santa does every year. If you're as excited as we are about the Exynos 1580 and the Galaxy F56, make sure to hit that subscribe button to stay updated. What are your thoughts on these developments? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Peace out. The smartphone industry is constantly evolving with each new year bringing us flagship devices that push the boundaries of technology and design. In this video, we'll be taking a close look at the two biggest names in the smartphone world right now. Apple's iPhone 16 Pro Max and Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra. Both phones are powerhouses in their own right, but how do they stack up against each other? Let's dive into the battle of the bigs. Design and size, as expected, Apple's iPhone 16 Pro Max doesn't deviate much from its predecessor when it comes to design. The rectangular shape, soft corners, flat sides, and dynamic island pill-shaped cutout remain. This year, however, the screen has grown from 6.7 inches to a massive 6.9 inches, making it the largest display ever on an iPhone. Its bezels are even thinner, but the overall dimensions have changed slightly, measuring 163 millimeters by 77.6 millimeters. In comparison, the Galaxy S24 Ultra is slightly smaller at 162.3 millimeters in height, but a bit wider at 79 millimeters, making it easier to handle for users who love to use the S Pen for sketching or taking notes. Speaking of the S Pen, Samsung once again offers the stylus nestled into the bottom of the Galaxy S24 Ultra. It's a feature that remains unique to Samsung in the flagship market, 
and one that many users either love or ignore completely. The precision of the S Pen, developed in partnership with Wacom, is something to be admired, making it a fantastic tool for creative tasks. Apple, on the other hand, introduces some new tricks with its buttons. The Action Button, which debuted in the iPhone 15 Pro series returns, offering customizable functions for launching apps or activating Siri shortcuts. But the real star of the show is the new Camera Control Button. This physical key, equipped with a capacitive surface, allows users to control the camera with a swipe, much like a traditional camera shutter button, enhancing the photography experience. Both phones come in sleek color options. The iPhone 16 Pro Max offers titanium finishes in white, black, natural, and the new desert titanium. Meanwhile, Samsung gives users a broader selection with titanium violet, yellow, black, and gray, and three exclusive colors if you order directly from Samsung's website. Display differences. When it comes to display, both phones boast impressive technology. The iPhone 16 Pro Max features a 6.9-inch OLED panel with a 120Hz refresh rate and an always-on display that can drop its refresh rate to just 1Hz, keeping your wallpaper or photos visible even when the phone is asleep. Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra comes equipped with its signature AMOLED screen, also featuring a 120Hz refresh rate and always-on display. However, Samsung has a slight edge here with its anti-reflective coating, which makes the screen much easier to see outdoors. In contrast, the iPhone struggles with reflections in bright sunlight despite its high brightness. Color accuracy is another area where the two phones differ slightly. The iPhone's display leans towards a yellowish hue, while the Galaxy has a bit of a teal tint. But with both phones offering blue light filters and adaptive color calibration, these differences are minimal in day-to-day -day use. One new feature for the iPhone 16 Pro Max is its ability to drop to an incredibly low one-nit brightness level, making it easier on the eyes in dark environments. Samsung's display already hovers around this level, so both phones are excellent for nighttime use, performance, and software. Under the hood, the iPhone 16 Pro Max is powered by Apple's latest 18 Pro chip, built on a second-gen 3 nanometer process by TSMC. This cutting-edge chip brings significant improvements in performance and efficiency, particularly when it comes to handling heavy tasks like gaming and AI-driven processes. Apple has also focused on better heat dissipation, addressing the overheating issues that plagued the A17 Pro chip. The Galaxy S24 Ultra, on the other hand, is powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, specifically tuned for Samsung devices. While both chips are incredibly powerful, benchmarks show that Apple's A18 Pro takes the lead in CPU performance, However, in 3D graphics tests, the Galaxy S24 Ultra isn't far behind, offering stellar gaming performance. Both Apple and Samsung are pushing into the realm of AI, with dedicated NPU cores to handle AI tasks. The iPhone 16 Pro Max comes with Apple Intelligence, which will roll out new features gradually, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra already boasts AI-powered features like live translation, generative image editing, and transcript summaries. As for software, the iPhone runs iOS, which has seen some welcome changes this year, bringing it closer to the flexibility of Android. You can now place app icons anywhere on the home screen and even customize their colors. But if customization is what you're after, Samsung's One UI still reigns supreme with features like split-screen multitasking, themes, and more. Samsung has also stepped up its software update game, promising seven years of updates for the Galaxy S24 Ultra compared to Apple's five-year commitment for the iPhone. Camera capabilities. Apple has made some significant upgrades to the cameras on the iPhone 16 Pro Max, particularly the ultra-wide camera, which now features a 48 megapixel sensor. The main camera remains at 48 megapixel, and the 5X telephoto camera comes with a 12 megapixel sensor. A new lens coating helps reduce the lens flare issue that has been prevalent in recent iPhone models, especially during night shots. Samsung, as always, is pushing the envelope with its camera hardware. The Galaxy S24 Ultra boasts a hopping 200 megapixel main camera alongside a 12 megapixel ultra wide, a 10 megapixel 3x telephoto, and a 50 megapixel 5x zoom camera. While the megapixel count might seem impressive, the real magic happens in post processing. Both phones have excellent cameras, but Samsung has a slight edge in zoom performance, while the iPhone tends to over sharpen fine details like leaves or grass. In low light conditions, both phones perform admirably. But the iPhone's new lens coating helps reduce the flare and artifacts that can appear in night photos. Samsung, on the other hand, continues to struggle slightly with oversaturated greens in its images, but this is only noticeable when directly comparing photos side by side. Battery and charging. When it comes to battery life, both phones pack a punch. 
The iPhone 16 Pro Max has a 4,685 mAh battery, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra comes with a slightly larger 5,000 mAh battery. However, Samsung takes the lead in charging speeds, offering 45 watt wired charging compared to the iPhone's 20 watt. For wireless charging, Apple's MagSafe offers 25 watt, while Samsung's wireless charging maxes out at 15 watt. Conclusion. So, which phone is the better choice? It's a tough call. The iPhone 16 Pro Max impresses with its sleek design, powerful A18 Pro chip, and improved cameras, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra excels with its S Pen, higher megapixel count, and faster charging speeds. Ultimately, it comes down to personal preference and whether you're more entrenched in Apple's ecosystem or Samsung's Android world. Either way, you're getting a top-tier smartphone that won't disappoint. What do you think about it? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Until then, take care, goodbye.